I hit wrong button. For some reason I hit end stream. Instead of the, uh, changing the scene. Oops. Let's see if I'm actually live or not. Okay. I am actually live. Excuse me. Well. I forgot to make it dark in here. The dark is it gonna get? Because I will not... I don't want to destroy the kitty ledge. So, yeah. I'm gonna go back into Moods of Madness. I think we're getting close to the end of the game. Hopefully. It's not like an hour of gameplay and then the stream is over, because that would suck. You know, honestly, I might just end early if that happens. I have been... Very, very tired lately. Hey, we're in. Oh, we're still down in the, uh, the secret lab, that's right. The Icarus complex. My god. It's completely taken over. Pills! Tendrils of a hive, ever expanding. Fools, they cannot be contained. The question is, is, is this voice that keeps talking to me the witch, I think? The witch of Mars. Is she. Oh! Oops. Is she with or against the uh, Z pathogen that the doctor decided to mess around with? Ugh. Took too much damage there. Oh! Okay. That was lovely. Yeah, let's go into this room. Maybe there's something useful in here. Whoa, what are those? Oh, here we go. This looks useful. Jesus. Orochi has leverage on everyone. You obtain the files request to put them in the council for review the details, avenues of leverage against the Invictus crew. There's need to put into peace additional surveillance measures we operators who we wish your visit a pleasant one. Nina Volkava, directly involved with Ari and Independence internationally incident occurred for years. She had been worked at the commissioned military airbase. Small city was killed by thousands in the small city were killed by an explosion of the base. The explosion meant to cover up the horrific containment breach of an alien substance used in her research. High-profile trial covered several classified experiments attributed to Volkova with high-ranking officials within the government denying it knowledge of her research. Where a verdict could be delivered, Volkova fled Belarus and claimed asylum at the Russian Federation Embassy in Tokyo. Stationed at the embassy, exiled in extradition, Ina was unable to continue her research. We offered her the opportunity to work without constraint. She accepted the terms of the strictest NDA and forced to return to Belarus upon disclosure. While her ethical integrity is questionable, her skill is undeniable. Recommend vigilant surveillance and determination of trust upon results. Oh, Shane Newhart, this is me. Minor childhood trauma documented by licensed family physician. Fear of abandonment, mild social anxiety. Graduated from Brown, mechanical engineering. Particularly note, created a practical equation to explain the theoretical underpinnings of gang mills and the mass gaps in his sophomore year. The apocryphal claim is that it was made in a single weekend, otherwise unremarkable. Dr. Newhart is a key to understanding of the Cynthia Newhart's studies and possible whereabouts. Come and continue surveillance of home and office. Potential asset for leverage if Newhart ever reemerges from isolation. Recommend hiring at the local Medicare office engineering position. Accept all salary requirements. Push for more information on Cynthia Newhart. Okay. Josephine Wilcox, Special Forces, Distinguished Service Class, Court Marshal. 
Dishonorable discharge. Record commuted. Evidence expunged. Resigned her post. Retained combat with exemplary records. Citing personal reasons. Seek employment and manticore under strictest NDA. Record of discharge. Friendly fire incident reported. Six undercover agents killed during strategic raid of suspected uranium smuggling operation. Wilcox led the team. Suffered zero casualties. Completely neutralized. Inciting incident of Commander Wilcox court martial proceedings. Multiple witnesses after Greece altercation. Josephine Wilcox has charged a pistol at range of less than one meter, causing the perforating wound into the skull of the commanding officer, Major Corey Houston. Wilcox turned and fired a second and third gunshot, which entered the chest and shoulder of Captain Alan Sheffield. Four team members could advance and pull Wilcox away, and another two shots were fired, critically wounding Captain Jaden Allen in the thigh and groin. Final shots were discharged into the ceiling as officers on the site wrestled her firearm away and detained her. Major Houston, Captain Sheffield died immediately. Captain Jaden Allen died in transit to medical facilities. Her squad defended her actions at Hewn and Smith. The officers in question no only caused a friendly fire scenario through mismanagement. Commander Wilcox will receive no punitive action for the events as long as we exert our influence. Okay. Declan. Masters in Mechanical Engineering, Minor Linguistics. Trafficking heroin, possession of a controlled substance, voluntary manslaughter. Oh, okay. Declan Delapore is a history of substance abuse, having self-admitted to repeal rehabilitation centers twice. His court sentence closely coincides with divorce proceedings, which were finalized in 2048. November 13th, 2049, Declan Delapore was admitted to a mental health facility for evaluation after attempted suicide. The Roche recruitment has confirmed that Delapore has remained clean for over 12 years, during which his time completed his degree of honors. He experienced significant difficulties upon graduation due to his incarceration. The Roche's offer of employment has been contingent on his willingness to maintain secrecy. Delapore is a highly motivated individual, and Roche has made agreements to erase records of her past. Oh, Lucas, what the fuck? I like how he reacts before I even have a chance to read it. I mean... I'd love this game, but sometimes I wish they'd save the main character's thing for waiting until, like, you'd left it. Or, like, you'd finished reading it. First offense, violation of a restraining order. Final restraining order. Number restraining, final restraining order. Mary Richardson, Tia Anders, oh, wait, these are all different people. Lucas Van Buren. Wait, Lucas is... The communications officer, right? Dr. Van Buren's sociopathic tendencies were well documented during youth therapy. Lucas displays difficulty reading emotions and lack of empathy for others in social settings. It notes that he was admitted to therapy after his parents discovered him performing vivisection on the family cat. Dr. Van Buren's contributions to the field of phil philology. Hey, Google. What's philology? French matter deals with this special historical element of religion. Okay. Study of language and history of languages or something? His dedication helped trace the evolution of Central American language to its origination point. Most recently, he helped translate Orochi's newly discovered ancient texts and star maps. Orochi has maintained surveillance evidence of Dr. Van Buren's activities during the disappearances of Abigail White and Tia Anders. The video show Vilka's violently kidnapping and assaulting the women in his home, choking them until they suffocate, then mutilating bodies and disposing of all evidence. Chances of violent altercation are slim, and Dr. Van Buren has seen the recordings. He will accept any assignment given him no questions asked. He is our most leverageable asset. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. So they hired a bunch of criminals, basically. Well, except for Josephine. She, it's kind of debatable if she was criminal or not. Fuck. Boxes aren't supposed to move. Hey, box. That was intended as a jump scare, but it didn't really work. Trend. I agree. Filthy, filthy toilets. Healthy. Okay, the robots are active here. I guess keep exploring. 
Nothing looks too interesting in here. Thought I saw someone sitting in that chair for a second. Freaking robots. Uh, gotta do with this thing again. It's an F. They're right there that he can attack out of. Oh! Are there like two of them? Three spike incidents? Questions why am I in this room? Like, is there any reason to be in here? Not really. Wait, it's I need to go this way? Investigate area, okay. If it spikes to move. Spiky tentacle monster thing. It's just weird. Uh, what is that? What is what? <gasps> what is that? Well, that looks like a baby butt and legs, but it's like mutated. Okay. Oh my gosh, this facility is so messed up. Okay, nothing really all that interesting. I should. Hamsters? Or wheels? Oh. And this spiky tip. Wait, what? Oh, I, I thought I was being attacked, but I guess I'm not. Or something. Or did the spiky vines attack it? I'm confused. Oh, it's glowing red. It looks like it did it. Oh, this doesn't look good. There really isn't any other way it goes. Stop it! Get out of my head! You couldn't crack open your helmet like a walnut! <laughs> and my voice is real still. Not in the spaces we know, but in between. There's no safe way across, but this is where I need to go. Okay. see any reason to go that way. This reminds me a lot of Soma with the uh, the structured black structure gel stuff everywhere. I don't have a door code so I can't get into that area. Um okay humans are being incubated here. They're gonna reveal that I'm just like a test tube human or something. We're all expendable assets to Orochi. 
wasn't enough to know all our secrets. If they can't leverage us, they'll just replace us. Icarus is authorized to enact a contingency plan in case of unforeseen circumstances. We put the Invictus crew at risk. A replica of the individual be made and preserved into a severe violation has occurred. Severe violations of company policy include unauthorized transmission of operations information to an outside source regardless of content, verbal threat of intent to control or sabotage mission objectives or company equipment, homicide, witnessing a homicide. So just seeing somebody get killed is a violation of company policy. Like, what the crap? Seeing a fatal or crippling injury, witness the retrieval or release of a cloned subject. Please review proper safety guidelines before retrieval or release of cloned individual. Discretion is of utmost appointment. Failure to follow protocol guidelines results in immediate termination. So, uh, cloning successful. Memory implantation through nocturnal brain scan completed. So, there's clones of us too? Like, what the f Holy shit! That's... That's all of us. The entire Invictus crew. Are we the originals? Or the copies? No way to really know. It doesn't end. Split from a single seed. Germinated, scribbled on carbon paper, they multiply like vermin. Sentience is a glitch in the sensory organs. Pain, a cancer fed by reality. Experimenting with substance phenomena entity oftentimes called filts or Z path, each sample tightly contained and weakened with a particular regimen of radiation. All this experiment to see if the effects of pre preternatural containment are the same on cloned human flesh and cloned hybrid human tissue as normal human tissue. The effects are not the same. How do they differ? Today we applied minute amounts of filth on cloned cells using safety protocols and observed. The effects were largely similar with the molecules of containment attacking the cells. However, the process moved more slowly than observed before. The filth escaped. I sealed my safety suit and performed all the emergency protocols. I've injected radiation serum as outlined in procedures. Side effects are intense, but mundane. It's far better than the alternative. How did this happen? There was no breach. I think the theory that the filth flows, even undulates along dimensions outside of our perceived three, may have merit. I have sent for help. I'm not trying not to panic. I'm recording the findings this mishap affords. Okay, so who is making these... Voices continue. I ignored them at first, congratulated myself on my rationalism. Then the voices learned to mimic my voice, and I thought they were me, and I was the voices. No, that doesn't make sense. Radiation must be working. My limbs have begun to do things on their own, only when I'm not looking. I have to stare at my limbs very carefully or they misbehave. I've made a careful regimen of making sure not to look at any one part of my body for more than seven seconds. I have to keep watch of them, except for my right arm. Good arm. I'm a scientist. Scientist. Cut off arm today, right arm, good arm, only corrupted part, pristine, it will be pristine forever, stored good arm in the morgue, code 9510, I'm scientist, will lock myself in padded room, everyone is safe, scientist, 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 scientist. <laughs> who was this though, is this just some unnamed person? We learned the code is 9510 though. Oh my gosh, so they got infected by the Z pathogen, started to hear voices, and went very crazy. Numbers cease their meaning. Numbers cease their meaning. This is the morgue, though. Wait, why did I want to come into the morgue? Oh no, we're gonna find the good arm. Oh. Wait for the, uh... Bill 
health to calm down. Why... Why am I doing this? Wait, that's a... That's a robot? Why is the robot in the morgue? Oh god. That's disgusting. A tactile tool. Tender. Undeathered. Okay, we're taking the arm! Empty. Okay, so we just wandered into the morgue and picked up a severed arm. It's totally normal, right? Totally normal. We're doing totally normal things in our totally normal game. Where's the scientist? Wait, that door's open. There's some deep path on the walls. Oh no, maybe they got out. Oh, that didn't hurt me. The scientist is loose. They cut off their arm, and now they're loose and wandering around, and they're probably way more than insane at this point. They're probably, uh... Oh, I needed the arm to, uh... Oh! Oh, shit! Come on! Uh, uh, come on! I don't know, but that didn't really feel super, that felt tense, but not really scary. Unless you want a bed, it's gonna follow me. It totally can follow me. Why was it running at me? Like, uh, that didn't make any sense to me. Okay, we're not gonna go back up there because we don't really want the plant thing to be. gravity pulls so strangely. It tugs at the tides of the mind. It pulls the planet apart. Do you feel it? No. Why are, why are the tentacles? Oh, I've been infected. I've definitely been infected by the Z pathogen. I've been ever. My mind opens to a flower, aching for the pollinator bat. I thought you nameless eons and inconceivable dimensions to worlds of elder outer eternity. Oh, how rock casts a shadow. A corona. Is this my mom? Or is this Shane's mom that's talking? He's gone absolutely mad with whatever she discovered. Eight-headed monster. Security on route. Please await lethal response. Locked in. What are they keeping here? So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Genesis 3.23. I can't look away from it. Oh, no, I can. As long as... Got some servers. Link screens. Project Eclipse. Lighting soundscape, numbing agent, 0% closed. 
Communication with the dreamer. The dreamer requires a sensory deprived environment, even for you. Use these settings lighting 20, sound 100, numbing 100. So, the right settings to uh, talk with the dreamer, whatever the dreamer is. Orochi. Eden. New Eden. Orochi is planning on building a city here. A failsafe. There is no escape. The dream will consume them. They are inevitable. It's the dream, though. That is he pathogen? The clock is stuck on 423. Interesting. Board meetings at 512. Meeting at 512? That's oddly specific. The CEO of Orochi was here. Makes no sense. On Earth, oh, that which cannot be decided. Hmm. It's probably a four-letter word. I should look around for some clues. Oh, derp! Let's try Eden. That was way too easy. Um emergency failsafe if Project Eclipse is released. If I can lower the shield, I can get out of this room. Fragment has become the fragment. Become agitated, the workers were unable to resist its communications. They scratched the walls, run through the complex, reduced to wild animalistic frenzy. I was able to close the chamber and enact the highest protocols, but I can hear the echoes ring in my ears. I see the crew of the Serrano. I've never seen them before, but I know who they are with all my being. I stare through cracked helmets, the filth reaching out towards me. I can't stay here. Clips has been shul shuttered. Shul shul shuttered? I've activated the proper protocols. I doubt they will be enough. Doors will automatically unlock in the event that the subject of Project Eclipse is released. Project is broken. The rush is upon you. You don't get to be the same person after they get in. Project S Symmetry. The numbing agent used in Project Eclipse to keep the fragment under control is created from a, a strange metal powering the machine in alien ruins. Since the active mechanism for sedation is poorly understood, we have taken the precaution of stockpiling a large amount of the metal on board the Invictus. In the event of an emergency, the Invictus can be launched. A self-guiding rocket has been attached to the payload. It can be triggered with a code phrase once Invictus safely clears the atmosphere. Communication Specialist Delapur was tasked with loading the payload and setting up the detonation trigger. Due to the sensitivity of the operation and his location at the off-site communication dish, he is considered the operative with the most chance of success in case of a catastrophic event. He alone knows the trigger word and will use it at his discretion. Oh, so he's got some kind of... Father. The Serrano... The Serrano has crashed. Something happened in EMP. We could not analyze it in time. The filth has reacted violently and predictably, spreading like a cancer across the entire base. Dreamer Fragment has sent the workers into a panic, searching for a way to escape. The security system has been triggered. The entire base has been compromised. A shutdown project eclipse. An emergency kill signal has been sent to shut down the communication via Angelus. Leave no trace. Except for service. Control. Serrano. Location report. Incident at time of... Location at time of incident. Serrano. bunch of numbers. Father, as you know, we owe a great debt to the work of Dr. Cynthia Newhart. The site was chosen based on her later work, notes and research kept under the strictest clearance. While her exhaustive library of equations and scroll symbology has been daunting, analysis still continues to see results, most recently the acquisition of two recent items. We are aware of the fragment of a dreamer, which we have covered. Research continues into the significance of this fragment and how it tries to communicate. Using the magnetic energy signatures first recorded by Amundsen's expedition into Antarctica, we are able to triangulate the location within kilometers. Through excavations of Site 9, the team is excited to announce that we have uncovered the actual Gaia engine on Mars. An actual Gaia engine? Further exploration in the chamber containing the engine has been halted and we defer to your judgment. We await your determination. Simple service control. An authorized message. Intercepted unauthorized video transmission. Pound, pounding. Muffled talking. This is Trevor Graham, Commander of Serrano 1. 
BMP fight our systems, and we are currently hurtling towards Mars at approximately 50 meters per second. Fuck protocol, fuck Orochi. It was an hours after they sent us the coordinates, and I could see it in everyone's eyes. Dr. Baduri drew the short straw when the heat shield controls malfunctioned. We're not equipped for a mission like this. The man knew it. It's a fucking support crew, but we follow procedure. After 20 minutes, he stopped responding to comms. We tried to reel him in, but his face, when he turned, the entire mass was covered in blackness. Just a spider webbing of black oil across the entire thing leaped out into the void, cracked straight through the fucking helmet. Stanza grabbed his arm, and that shit, it crawled up her suit and wrapped around, squeezing itself inside. Pounding increases in volume. That pounding, the airlock, I couldn't let them back in. The infection. Just being near it made my temples seethe. They're all infected. Doesn't matter, though. The hatch won't close. Anytime we're gonna bust apart and rain down in pieces in the Martian desert, Pierce and Vogel are lucky. They're still asleep in their pods. Won't feel a thing. I'm taking it down with me, all of it. This is the Serrano. I'm about to... One, about to enter the Martian atmosphere on a secret mission to help stake a claim. They don't care about the lives they lose to do it. You hear me, Orochi? The whole world is gonna see this thing. The whole world will know. I'm getting out of here. I wonder if those consoles have anything to do with Project Eclipse. Yeah, enter activation phase. So, 20% lighting, 100% and 100% numbing. Oh boy, we got a lot of buttons here to mess with. Oh gosh, this puzzle is going to be a pain in the butt. Designed this interface. Hundred and twenty percent. Well, I've got one piece right. I want the soundscape change. That got us one more percent soundscape, yay. Ew, that one opens shutters. I don't know what that one does, but we'll just leave it. Oh, here we go. It's close, right? That's too much numbing agent. Is there more over there? Okay, no, there's not more over to the right. This is gonna be a really hard puzzle. One's three numbing agent. Wait, wasn't this one three? feel silly. They're labeled. I just barely noticed the labels. Okay. Window shutters. Down frequency. Uh, 
Are there any other? Maybe. Maybe I'm supposed to get the sound correct first. Hold on, if I go up five, and this one will take it down three. There we go. Okay, why don't the shutters open? Okay, I'm missing something. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Use last. Oh my gosh. Are these... The instructions are right there and I didn't even read them. Okay. Oh! We're gonna get to see the fragment. Fragment of the Dreamer. Probably some kind of alien or elder child. No! Is that thing? The dreamer. It just looks like a giant lump of something. Until that much. But, like, supposed to be doing right now? Find a way out. Activate Project Eclipse. Didn't I just activate it? Maybe I have to- oh, I have to do something over here. Um... Enter activation code for Project Eclipse Phase 2. Warning, all employees you should evacuate upon Phase 2 initiation. Emergency unlock protocol will take effect immediately. Okay, uh... I guess it's 5.12. Brilliance, yes. Let it connect. Oh dear. Oh, hi. Um... Our family therapist's office. I can still smell the musty leather sofa in the corner. My parents took me here when I started having night terrors. I understand that some might consider my behavior obsessive. Yes. We may not agree on the finer points. But I can't let it go on any longer. Not like this. My father. He always used to say, Cynthia, your brain has its own mouth, and all it does is devour books. I was insatiable. I learned to see data where no one had ever thought to look. 
But I never thought it would consume me. Strip me of my accolades. That it would affect my son. Can't keep doing this. That second mouth in my head. It just keeps eating. It will never stop. I... I know how that sounds. Knowledge consumed. Mom's seminal work. The one that solidified her reputation and reinvented the field of quantum engineering. The ability to harness dimensional shifts. Equations to predict fluctuations in time. Not just on the subatomic level. She was a genius. Feels like so long ago. Engineering dimensions. Way over my head. She got involved in some kind of interdimensional stuff. I wonder if she attracted the attention of some kind of eldritch monstrosity. New patient, Shane Newhart, seven year old male, night terrors, complex hallucinations, claims to remember every detail. Mother encouraged him to describe the terror, so he did. He made of vines, tendrils, and teeth. He emphasizes the teeth with human's hands and face. The vines emerge in every shadow and fill the room, twining around them, eventually crushing him to the bed. All the space remains is a small dark tunnel through which the creature stares at him from across the room. Can see it through his eyelids. And it always inches closer minute by minute, but his mom always wakes him up before the teeth. S became extremely distraught, and the rest of the session was spent consoling him. For any chance to develop rapport with him, I'll need to see him separately for several sessions. All seeds set up a time to discuss home life, school performance, her concerns, etc. Week 3. Chain CP ruled out psychological causes for night terrors, must be related to anxiety, a lot of tension in the new heart house. S may be genetically predisposed. They should meet the handheld chess game he plays during recess. Smart kid, but needs help with his confidence. Meanwhile, Cynthia remains a challenge. She answered my questions about S, but was reluctant to talk about herself, insisted I wouldn't understand. Encouraged to give her to give me a chance, she's come to a disassociative episode. We talked about it at length once it passed. She called it seeing through the eyes of elsewhere. He agrees it next week. I convinced her to see me as a patient. So his mom... Sounds like maybe she was getting influenced by something extra-dimensional, and it must have leaked and started to influence her son, too. Makes me wonder. And then we come here to Mars, because the corporation... Uh, can anyone tell me how to access the space between dreams? Mars came here. They came here to Mars. Orochi did to try to maybe harness this? Some kind of financial gain, I bet? Wrong. Words of light. Excellent try, Gloria. However, while the roads of Agartha do traverse the vastness of time and space, the corridors between dreams are a separate sort of passageway, and the two only intersect in very rare places. Wandering in Time by Cynthia Newhart. Corridors of dreams. Agartha. Agartha is the world tree, right? Holy crap, those are some freaking insane equations. Faces and leading the walls of sleep. Then we have something called the Dreamer. That's very cutting edge, Adam. And while the full answer to that is quite complex, that is still incorrect. Wormholes and event horizons have the possibilities to go. Offer the possibilities to go to impossible places. There's a lot going on. Oh. Mm, did not like me walking in there. Okay. Can I leave? Not leave yet. Did I miss a paper somewhere? Just like this dark void everywhere. Okay, what am I supposed to do then? Oh. What a distinctive answer, Rupert. That is an interesting theological paradox, but it is wrong. 
Fucking god, and it's terrible. Fucking god, and it's terrible. The gates of heaven, God holds the keys to the doors of the entire universe, and by his grace we are allowed to enter allowed to So what's the answer then, Doc? Oh. Correct. Dreaming ones. Very good. The answer is the dreaming ones. The dreaming ones were, the dreaming ones are, the dreaming ones shall be. Not in the spaces we know, but between. They walk serene and primal, undimensioned and to us unseen. They can teach us deep knowledge, secrets past the skin of eternity. Things that we likely do not need to know. Our minds are not made to comprehend such things. Dreamers. Extra dimensional beings that live between dreams. Oh. I'm having a hard time noticing when it's happening. Yesterday, I saw a light streaming through the kitchen window. A moat. Illuminated, suspended in the air. I spent the remainder of the day in my office researching. I've been accused of isolating myself. I I merely am who I am, and I have always been. Isolated. Isolated from my knowledge. Imagine discovering a dictionary of new words to describe the universe. Words that no one else could ever know. The promise of limitless knowledge to an insatiable mind. Is it any surprise I struggle with domesticity? But I had to make a choice. Shane is my universe. After the seizure started, she tried for a while. We were really close the summer she left her tenure, but I could tell she was restless. Wouldn't stop writing. She'd snap at the smallest things. The book sold really well, though. Popular with the pseudoscience crowd. Hmm. Anything else from the psychologist? Week 14, patient functioning continues to fluctuate. She's managing to find relief from auditory hallucinations by isolating herself in basement. Symptoms waned enough to attend sessions today. Washed hair in basement utility sink, apparently. Manages to take care of Shane during dissoci dissociative periods. See twice, trailed off into almost nonsensical babble, claims to have had a lot on her mind with the upcoming publication of the latest book, and is not concerned. Not my first patient with such challenges, but for some reason I feel out of my depth here. Think about referring her to someone else. Increased dosage in the meantime. Wayne is apparently doing well with support from a school's counselor. I'm sure he's glad to have his Thursday afternoon back. Still think that she delved too deep not just some kind of psychological thing. Well, there's the altar again. The altar in the basement. She contacted me this week. They've approached me several times in my career. I know about the Red Planet, the twins. They suspected a great deal and many other things, but kept their cards close to their chest, as did I. Shane saw inside the book just a glance, and it was enough. They can never know. They would do anything to pull him into their fold. That's why, Doctor. If I found out that Orochi approached you and you told them of what I've said, you'll find out just how dedicated a mother I am. Oh, she's casting a spell. Yeah, she's definitely delved into stuff way too deep. Now, are you curious about the Dreaming Ones? Should have probably been a voice over there, but... Oh, so, uh, as a kid, he opened up the book. Once you open the book, it's already too late. It's always too late! The 
and she was gone. I don't want to remember her like this. Where did she go? Week 31. It's been the same weeks. It has been some weeks since I transferred Cynthia's care to a more experienced clinician. I can't stop thinking about our final session, even though my notes are sparse and details hazy. Ever since there's been nine at the back of my consciousness, a deep anxiety I can't shake. I find myself jolting awake after my remembrance or failing to sleep entirely. I know something is watching. It flickering in my periphery, slithers in the split between seconds. It thinks I don't see, but if I take the dreams for myself, it will tell them. I don't see, but if it, I take the dreams for myself, it will tell them. I'll have to suspend my practice and I'll figure out what it wants. Oh, okay. Well, that's perfectly sane, right? So the doctor... Uh, oh. Oh, that's a lot of tentacles. That's the most tentacles I've seen in a while. Okay, can I, can I leave? Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Lies on the other side of dreams where do thoughts and space meet. I'm not sure what else to do here. Normally there would be like a video thing that would play, right? Did the game like glitch out? I don't know if it may have glitched out on me. Do I just okay, let me try just like killing myself. I'll just try killing Shane. See if maybe the game will, uh... Maybe that's the ending. Maybe we're just stuck in some kind of fragmented reality. But is it real or is this going on in my head? Or is this some way of the, uh... Oh. They knew about the red planet. Twins. They suspected a great many other things, but they kept their cards close to their chest. As did I. Shane saw inside the book. Just a glance. Anything to pull them into their fold. And that's why, Doctor, if I found out that Orochi approached you, and you told them what I've said. You'll find out just how dedicated a mother I am. Now, were you curious about the dreaming one? So it glitched out because it was trying to play the voice line before it even gotten in the room. Oh gosh, these things are back. Murder tentacles are back. But they do not like being observed. <gasps> oh, that one was close. They're everywhere, I do not like it! Ooh. Get back, murder tentacles! Wait, where am I going? Is that my mom? Are you working with the dreamers now? Or the dreamer? I don't know. Is it one or many? Why are you doing this? <sighs> they cannot awaken. The moons bend above us. It is all but a brilliant illusion. Please, I need you to help me. I thought I am. I was. I will. God damn it, who are you? Shane. Huh? I'm sorry, Shane. I've made so many mistakes. You were never supposed to be here. Mom? Why are you... 
How did you get here? My curiosity led me here. The pages of the Necronomicon revealed a mathematics I had never encountered, and a pathway to the dream world. I didn't know that once I made the choice, I could never return. The decision has weighed on me ever since. Weighed on you? You have any idea what that did to us? To Dad? When you left, it broke him. We searched for you for years. Shane, please, listen. That's Has it been you this whole time? In the base, haunting yeah. you? Driving us crazy with these nightmares? Stop! The struggle tears at my soul. It takes every ounce of concentration I have to remain here. I need your help, son. We must act quickly. When the ship passed between the moons, the twin dreamers were disturbed in their slumber. All the chaos you've witnessed, the filth, that creeping horror is only a fraction of the destruction that it can bring. If they corrupt the engine, the moons of Mars, the dreaming ones will awaken, and they will devour all of reality. You left me. You left us for a delusion. But it's real. What the fuck do you care about reality? Reality is where my son lives. What do I need to do? Find the Gaia engine. I will help you do what must be done. Help me, Shane. Help me undo what has been set in motion. Please don't leave again. Don't worry. We'll solve this together. I don't like how close you are to me. Twin moons, the twin dreamers. The two moons of Mars are eldritch monstrosities, and uh, we accidentally woke them up. And, or I guess coming here has started to wake them up. And there's this horrible filth stuff that's been released. The European pathogen that like mutates and corrupts everything it touches. What? What? I could be a clone. <laughs> Is that the plant monster or the scientist? Shane? Shane? Declan! Sorry, I, I, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, there's so much more down there, Declan. Clones, mind control, the dreamers, the dreaming ones. Declan, we have to find the Gaia engine. It, it's the only thing holding them back. The, everything, the, the, the filth, the, the nightmares, my, my hallucinations, they're connected. We need to find the engine. Okay, okay, okay. Shane, slow down. We're inside. You need to get here as soon as possible. Hell if I'm staying here. We have to find it. Okay, okay. We'll find this machine. Because as much as I don't have any idea what you're talking about, it makes more fucking sense than anything else that's happened today. The Gaia engine. Is that gonna put, put the twin dreamers back to sleep? So that they don't corrupt reality? Yeah, give me that 2% oxygen. But yeah. Okay. The concept of time in this game is also very strange. This also serves as a very elaborate loading screen, kind of. Wait, no, but then it still does have loading screens. Very odd. The whole game has been very interesting, to say the least. Very curious.
What is this? Oh, it's a beard hair. Oh my god. I'm arriving at the door now. It's massive. Yeah, these stone carvings must be thousands of years old. The records of excavation you found in Argus? This must be the place. I'll meet you inside. Does the whole purpose of Mars was to uh, keep the twin dreamers asleep, maybe? Machine manipulates gravity. Oh. Some kind of puzzle, maybe? stuck in the dream world. It is the dream world where the uh, filth came from originally? Incredible. Ow. We're gonna start running because are so well preserved. I came here to learn from the ancients, travelers at the nexus of the dream world. The Gaia engine they discovered, that immaculate machine spans both dimensions. It powered their entire civilization, gave them pure vision, sight through time, knowledge unencumbered. And with all the good that intense light and power brings, there is always someone or something who wants to claim it for their own. I craved it. The knowledge consumed me. And I learned and I saw. These murals, Shane. It's a warning they left here long ago. If we let the filth take over the Gaia engine, the universe is left to the whims of ancient beings awakening from a million years slumber. You and I, we are the final guardians. We must repair what has been broken. Reality will cease to exist. There's something under the ground here. It's, it's shifting through the sand. Get off the sand, Declan! Declan! Holy shit! Keep moving! Keep fucking moving! Get the fuck out of there! Run! I'm not gonna make it. Oh shit, 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 shit. I gotcha. Move! I'm gonna hold them off. What? what, what? Dozy! Declan? Get back in the rover, Newhart! There's nothing you can do here! Hell no! I can help! I know what we need to do! It's everywhere! That's well, a good thing we have this apparently. It was pretty pretty a little low. Actually not anywhere near low, but. Okay, here we go. Oh looking statue. We have to get to the guy engine before the fill. The engine! That must be it! It doesn't, look, it doesn't look like any engine I've ever seen. I'm coming! Hold on! What is this place? They found it! They found the engine! Cross the threshold. You must reach them. Thankfully, uh, my bio gauge knows. I can feel it crawling underneath the stone. Uh oh. Runes, a language, a key maybe. Their eyes, they are forever open. 
Never blinking until they crack like eggs. Declan's been infected. Uh, snap out of it. Here, take this. Uh, what am I supposed to do with it? Game overall feels kind of like a walking simulator with puzzles. But holy crap, has it been a ride! Oh, oxygen. Okay, so we've got monsters under the sand now. Okay, so this should just be the sand is shaking. Not good. One of those sequences where we have to run from place to place. But if we run, we're gonna drain our oxygen faster, right? I don't know. I don't understand how the oxygen brain works. That looks important right there. Really don't want one of those to eat me. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Made it. Okay, I think we have to run over there and pull ourselves up, but these things are like patrolling nearby, so I don't think it's gonna really be a good idea to do it if they're nearby, because I think they'll probably be able to snack us up pretty fast. Uh if they just wow, if they just keep circling the platform, it's gonna be nearly impossible to find a good opening. You know what? Here goes. I feel tremors. What are these? <sighs> Symbols. Language. Uh, uh, an unlocking mechanism? Declan, what are you doing? That. That did something. Holy shit, it's spinning faster. It, it's working. God. Do that again. Okay. Some platforming going on. Okay, where am I supposed to go now? There, I guess. Oh, yeah, I don't hear any rumblings. Get off the sand. Dude, we just got on it. I think we're safe. Nothing's going on. Okay, they're pretty, pretty chillax monsters. I'm gonna try to barricade the door. No, it's already here. You can't. You fucking bastards! You're gonna have to tear me apart. <laughs> Josie. Oh my God, Josie! <laughs> Shit! Oh, it just happened. Hello, game. Whoa. Josie. What killed them? Like, if they came in through the sand, barricading the doors wouldn't do anything. And what doors are they barricading? It honestly feels like a little bit like unnecessary drama. Would have made more sense if they both just went insane and killed each other. Oh. Whoa. Ah. Immaculate machine. Here it is. The oh. moons loom above us. Drawing closer together with every second. That's... Oh, what is that thing? Hmm. 
No! Josie! Phil's got her. Where's Declan? No, no, no. Declan! Declan! Fuck, this can't be happening. Shane, listen to me. You can't trust her. She, she isn't, she isn't who you think. And if she is who you think, she doesn't deserve you. What? They told me to load it into the Invictus. A fail safe. <laughs> they said I'd know when to use it. Said I'd know if I should. Well, it's now, Shane. That's you. I won't be coming along, buddy. Save the world, man. And tell your mom to. Fuck off from me. Oh, Shane. Oh, shit, Declan. I mean, Declan. I'm sorry. I was too late. I'll finish this. This is the end. You can't let your friends die in vain. You have to complete what they have started. I cannot do it alone, Shane. My form, it shifts in the in-between. I will guide you. Be my hands. I'm ready. Um. Oh, no, turning out the flashlight didn't help much. That will make him connect. Mm, it doesn't look right though. Oh gosh. No, that doesn't look right either. I need a thingy, it looks like a thingy. No, that doesn't look right. I need to have it needs to have an upper right upper a square in the upper right with like a T directly underneath it. Oh! Oh gosh! This might be the worst puzzle today. Or not worst, but the most complicated. I feel like I'm doing a really weird U right now. Oh come on, is there one that even matches this? Okay, the other ones look like they're in the right position. No, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. Oh, wait, hold on. Here we go. Yes. Quickly to the next. The moon is drawn the nearer. Illuminate the ancient machine while there's still time. What if she's encouraging me to get to uh Hurry, Shane. I'm counting on you. You must. You must. Tendrils of filth slither along the spine of time. They thrust themselves into the ether, tear at the fabric. I do need some oxygen though. An oxygen refill somewhere? There might be one back at the start, but. Wait, hold on. Oh, no, wrong button. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That one wasn't too bad. Okay. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Wait, hold on. No, no. I need a square that's like not contained. Do we have one of those?
Oh, I know what is contained. Contained, but part of its containment, it's gonna have a uh, a line extending out of it. Wait, hold on. Wait, no, that doesn't extend the right way. Dang it, it wants to be the right way. Um, this might be it. Yeah. I do my son. Just one more. Means are pretty close together. I'm at 56% oxygen. Hopefully that's enough for the last do puzzle. Do it, Shane. You are the key. Wondrous light. Return for us. Bridge the dimensions. Light shadow. Repair the drifting. Shining, luminous. Do you hear it singing? It sings, Shane. I can feel it. The energy, it's weakening. There is still hope. The moons must not align. Go, my son. It shines with the brightness of infinite knowledge. Do not fear it. No, your friends, they died to help you. Finish what they started. I'm getting some very mixed messages from this lady. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness they they made it so that like I always pick up the right cube. Um oh boy, this one's gonna be tricky. Where and there's like a right angle thing it can move off Wait. Maybe? It's in place. I hope to God this works. My sweet boy. I'm so, so. Jesus! What's happening? Time is coming. It was inevitable. We were too late, Shane. The engine cannot contain the dreamers any longer. Run! Before it consumes you! Run! We might die of oxygen loss. It's the unstable. The unbearable light. It's destroying the temple. The engine. We charged it. Why didn't it work? What they warned would happen. Was it prophecy? The beings that lived here, they were warning themselves, other travelers. This galaxy it was doomed to the void. The awakening is inevitable. Or maybe we weren't supposed to activate the machine. What? Something we can do. It is too late to restore the mission. We have one last chance. One final result. The Gaia engine is compromised. Sleep or stern. Failure is mended. Failure is mended. The work requires sacrifice. Mom! Stay with me! To the moons. I'm pretty sure she's working with the filth. And activating the machine just made things worse. Ugh. Whoa! Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I think I broke something. Oh. That Call of Duty healing. Oh! Okay. Just run through it. Just run through it. Okay. Keep going. This isn't the way we came in, though. Are we going out a different way? Come on. Oh. Wait, is that outside? Ah! Oh, please don't die. Okay.
Okay, it doesn't want us to go up there, so we go out here. Hey! and demos. We must close the rift, shut the gate, chain. You are here for a reason. You were marked. Sent here. Chosen. I don't know what's going on. It's all falling apart. Everything. What, what do I have to do? To the moons. You must go to the moons. There is no other way. Fly to the stars, to where the Cyrano broke the barrier and slipped from the sky. What? Okay. How are we gonna fly though? How much? I, I still want to bet that the uh, mom is working for awakening the dreamers. To the launch pad. The Invictus should be ready to fly. I believe in you. Thanks, Mom. Shane, you can do this. First step, get to the command console. Retrace their path. Complete the ritual. What? Invictus. So we need to get we need to launch ourselves in a rocket to go to the twin moons because something got here before me. Not good. The plant monster again? I mean, it could be the plant monster, it could be the crazy scientist guy who cut up his arm. It's really hard to tell in this game. Like, they do a good job of setting up all sorts of weird crap, but they don't, like, uh... Like, really run with it very well, it feels like. Yeah. Oh, that's all I had to do? Okay. Whoa. I have to hurry. The filth is here. I hope I have enough oxygen God to make it. Damn it. What have you been so angry about? Just scream at the ladder, Shane. Take out all your frustrations, buddy. I'm surprised that you're the BPM didn't go up at all. Uh oh. No! Not now! They're going to destroy the ship! Hmm. I guess if it's trying to destroy the ship, then maybe. Shit! There's movement under the sand! Those things are back! Heck, Nabbit. That's gonna complicate things. I have to be quick! That rock should be safe. 
Good point. But they aren't anywhere nearby, so that's where I'm going. If I can just make it to the rocket. Get on the rock! Oh! It's moving! Run! Just run! I got eaten. I didn't hear it nearby until it got me. So maybe I am actually working to stop reality from becoming unraveled. Because it feels like the moons is unleashing this... the tentacles and the stuff everywhere. There's movement under the sand. Those things are back. I have to be quick. That rock should be safe. What? <gasps> Last time there wasn't one there. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go through some stupid loading screen. Hold on a second. I need to take a break. This is getting a little stupid. Okay. Let's try this again. I feel why did they, why would the game why would they put a weird difficulty spike at this point in the game? I feel like like I feel like up to this point it actually hasn't been too hard. Shit. I mean, there's movement under the sand. Those things are back. Some of the puzzles were pretty interesting. Hey. I have to be quick. Can I climb over this? No. That rock should be safe. What the hell? There wasn't one nearby. This is this is getting annoying. This is the, this is the part of the game where your load screens really start to hurt your play your uh, enjoyment of the game. Okay, I guess it's not that long. Shit! There's movement under the sand. Those things are back. I have to be quick. If I can get up on this, okay. Okay, there's one out that way. See, I don't even see one over here. If I can just make it to the rocket. <laughs> what the? I was on the rock. Where did it even come from? Okay, this is getting really annoying, actually. Hold on. Let's quit and resume. Maybe that'll reset the game state. When you have to do things like force the game to do a hard reload to get it to work. I have I start to have questions about how well programmed it was. 
Shit. Hey, look, the it's things are back. Watch, same. that thing's just gonna Those vanish. Things are back. Yeah, it just vanishes there. Does my flashlight help at all? Okay, there's one over there. One way over there. I have to be quick. Yeah, I don't even hear one. Rock be... Like what the hell? Hold on a second. This is getting really annoying. Like, why is this should not be this hard right here? Like, what the frick is going on here? Like, what is what is going on here? Like, up until this point, I don't feel like the game has been nearly this brutal. Like, what am I doing wrong? Rocket. Guides? Final chapter? Open the gate, launch the... Hey, this is... This guide sucks. Like... Like, what am I doing wrong here? Am I getting too close to the rover, maybe? Okay, we're just gonna run Shit. it this time. There's movement under the sand. Those things are back. That rock should be safe. Okay. So I guess you can't get too close to the rover. Okay, there's one right there. I don't really see another safe point, though. There's like an invisible patch right there that you just cannot get too close to. Hi, buddy. Okay, that was weird. Made it! I hope to God the ship holds together. I really want to get this game for someone like another friend of mine and watch them play through it to see how they react to it. Just to see if I'm not the only one who's like, this game is like, there's parts of it that are really cool, but it, overall, some of it, the execution just doesn't feel right to me and I don't know why. Why did I just look at the ground there? They've got a laptop on a rocket? Okay. Okay, I need to go up. I don't know, I've never been on a rocket. So maybe this is normal to have laptops. Getting close. Just need a little more time. I never thought I'd be leaving Mars this way. E Lucas, Ina, Josie, Declan. This one's for you. Everything needs to be green. This is it. Everything needs to be green, nothing's green. Pre... Oh. Pre... Launch checklist! Make all the switches green! Cause that's how every rocket gets launched. I like how the detonation code is, Mars sucks. Okay. Now, starting the countdown. Nice. You gonna strap yourself in? 
I hope I'm getting close to the end of the game. Blow up! Drones of G-Force causing discomfort. We're clear of the atmosphere. Trajectory is set for orbit. What, what do we do next? Bomb? Bomb, are you there? Holy shit! What's happening? What is? Oh, um, well, we're, we're screwed. That's what's happening. We just this felt- This is everything you are. Just you alone. It's time, Shane. Time for what? Hush, my sweet boy. It's almost over. No, this is wrong. You want to release those things. They must be free so that I can be freed. You destroyed the Gaia engine with your corrupted hands. Please, Shane, help me. I'm ready. Mars sucks. Mars sucks. Blow up the moons. Blow up the moons. Dreamers? No! So nice that a conventional weapon would work on them. Yeah, we did it. We blew up the moons. Blew up the dreamers with a rocket. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. get wrecked, dreamers. Ha 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 ha. First, I'm dead. I think that's a low oxygen sound. Yay, we did it, we died. <sighs> oh. Astronomers continue to be baffled by the sudden disappearance of the moons of Mars. NASA has called a press conference to address the speculation that a man secret mission... Oh, yeah, nobody knew about a mission to Mars. Do some research in the game while we watch the credits. Research into the game. Moons of Madness. 7 out of 10 on Steam, 5 out of 10 on IGN, 5 out of 10 on Push Square. 90% of the people like this game. First person story driven from Cosmic Horror. Version of Mars Leads Lovecraft. I mean, it had some stuff going for it. it had some stuff going for it. So who developed it? That's what I want to know. Who developed it? Was there was this their first? A developer. Developed by Rock Pocket Games. Released last year. Okay. Rock Pocket Games. Hey Google, tell me about Rock Pocket Games. That's not talking. It was founded in 2008 in Norway? Okay, so this isn't their first video game. Oh wait, no. This is their only video game, I guess. 
Yeah, that's the logo. Interesting, there's not a whole lot about them. So maybe this was the first game that they've ever created. The music was good though. Oh my gosh, phone. Phone is fighting me. Yeah, they've only created two games. Independent Game Studio. We started developing mobile games. Okay, so maybe this is their first, like, non-mobile game? Here's a Reddit post. From one year ago, where they couldn't renew their um, domain name. There's a lot of interesting plot holes, like, if the Dreamers were just moons, how did a rocket blow them up? In traditional Lovecraft, Conventional weaponry usually doesn't work very well on, like, Elder Gods. Yeah, there's not a whole lot about them. Not a whole lot about them in general, but, I mean, it was a decent game. This? Oh. Same thing. Oh, Crazy Girl with a Gun gifted me this game. For my birthday in 2020. Oops. Is there an undo button? Okay, credits. Uh, I want to go see the other ending, because there is a second ending. Zoom, wherever this is going to put us. I swear, if it puts me back to having to run across the sand, I'm probably going to scream. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Oh shit, there's movement under the sand. Those things are back. Okay. I have to be quick. I feel like some the of these rock should be safe. parts of the game just weren't very well coded. Okay, that one we need to wait for it to, uh... Like, it's got these things that just, like, run around and patrol, but then when you step on the sand, they don't really seem to do anything. Just make it to the rocket. Tyler, hello. Oh, damn it. Where did that thing come from? There wasn't anyone nearby. This part of the game, I feel like, wasn't super well done. Like, there's things attacking me that aren't even there. Like, I can't see them. I swear that I can't see them and they're just attacking me. It's a little frustrating. Like, I've been attacked at the back of this room where there's apparently a monster that's there's invisible. The, sand. Those things are back. the things are back and they're invisible. I have to be quick. It's, rock should be safe. it's like I have to walk on like some mysterious invisible path or else I get eaten.
I am, it's, it was a pretty rough day, Tyler, but it's Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. I could have a few days off to do I don't know what. Okay. We're gonna wait for this thing to pass. I wonder if I just ran the wrong route. Then I, I ran a different route than I did last time. If I can just make it to the rocket! Okay, so I'm supposed to run across the rocks, I guess. Made it! I hope to God the ship holds together. So I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to help mom or whatever. This next part shouldn't be too bad. Go into the airlock. Close the airlock. And we climb up a bunch of ladders. How are you doing, Tyler? I hope I didn't miss you by much. Dealing with that's like getting close. Fifth or sixth time I've died time. in that one part. I thought I'd be leaving Mars this way. Extremely annoying. Lucas, Ina, Josie, Declan. This one's for you. Everything needs to be green. This is it. That one needs to go straight up. You missed probably the most complicated puzzle in existence. This one is very simple. Come on, there we go. Now. Stop. Yeah, we're leaving Mars. We're going to the moons because the moons have awoken and they're dreamers. And you missed the ending where I blew them up with a missile. Now we're going to do the ending where we we let Crazy Mom tell us what to do. Wait, what? Hello, game. Oh. I'm so I like drones of G-force causing discomfort. I like how it doesn't let us move our head around at all. What, what do we do next, Mom? Mom, are you there? Holy shit! What's happening? So we get sucked out of the rocket. Now I'm not sure what this we do. This is everything you are. Just you alone. It's time, Shane. And time for what? what? Hush, my sweet boy. It's almost over. No, this is wrong. You want to release those things. They must be freed so that I can be freed. You destroyed the Gaia engine with your corrupted hands. Please, Shane, help me. Yeah, how do we help her, though? No, we're not gonna do that. What do I need to do? It is done! They are free! What's happening? Ooh! Get your next you can't do this! Stop! Oh, Shane, this is not the end. There is no end. There is no escape. Ooh. And then we listen to Shane awkwardly die. His awkward groaning sounds as he dies. That's the Astronomers continue to be baffled by the sudden disappearance of the moons of Mars. You have it, Moons of Madness. NASA has called a press conference to address the speculation. That didn't mess anything up, did it? 
So yeah, there we go. That's the ending. For what it's worth. That's the ending of, of Moons of Mars. Apparently the moons were some kind of eldritch monstrosity, and we, when the wind ship flew between it, they woke up. But there had already been evidence that they'd been waking up before that. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer. And I wish I had some more answers because it all just makes my head hurt. Which, I don't know. I don't know if I just didn't follow along, but there's a lot of plot points that the game, like, didn't explore. Like, the whole scientist guy who cut off his arm to escape, like, we never saw... We never saw him again. That's the weird ending. In the other ending, we actually shoot a rocket at the moons and blow them up before the dreamers awaken. And somehow her mom got involved in the whole thing, like she got sucked into the dream dimension or something because of her research. Yeah, the whole thing is just... it's just... just bizarre, like... But I think that kind of fits with H.P. Lovecraft, where just strange stuff happens. And you're like, I don't understand what just happened. And it's like, yeah. This strange, unexplainable things, horrible, terrible monstrosities loose. Yeah, it is, it is a very strange game, for sure. Very interesting narrative. There's like a lot of loose plot points. Like, who are the Orochi? How, why were they so interested in the arcane and the Eldritch? I don't know if they ever explained that. Um, they're clones. Like, the Orochi Corporation had clones of everybody that was part of the er original Secret Mention, which is called If Invictus. Um,. I'm trying to think if there's anything else they didn't really explain. Yeah, that was, that was a really interesting game. Oh, apparently I missed one achievement? What achievement did I miss? So they were all clones? Yeah, that's... they didn't answer that. I missed an achievement. I missed the achievement Zapper. Oh, I wonder if that was for, like, walking into electrical water. They, I don't know if they were clones or could have been clones, that they had a cloning facility where they could implant people's memories and replace people. But they didn't really explore it. They introduced the idea, but didn't really explore it. I don't know. And then they made it seem like the secret facility had a ton of people working down there. There are like no bodies. There's no evidence of other people being down there. I mean, they had all the robots and stuff, but I don't know. It felt like a really interesting game, like, but there's just a lot going on, almost too much going on. So it was really hard to figure out what was going on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but still an interesting game nonetheless. Like, really just weird, bizarre. But I guess they kind of hit that Lovecraft thing on the head with just the strange and inexplicable. But that's the end of Moons of Madness. I don't know it game I'm gonna play next for spooky time. Maybe I'll play Bloodstained. I don't think it's supposed to be quite as scary. I've got Bloodstained and I've got Vampire. Bloodstained's like an arcade game and Vampire's more of a role-playing heavy game. Which might be interesting. So who should we raid? We could raid someone who's doing like a Twitch plays or somebody who's doing like a meetup thing. Wait, hold on. This person's doing Among Us? I don't think I've ever seen this person play a game before. Interesting. Oh, this person's playing Horizon Zero Dawn. A lot of people on. I would like to raid. Dang it.
Okay, we're gonna raid Vazer222. He's my friend. He is a local friend, actually. I haven't been able to see him in so long because of the... Oh, because of the freaking lockdown and quarantine and everything. So, we're gonna go raid them. Let me go to the big camera. Shut the game down. Thank you so much for hanging out for Moons of Madness. It was an interesting game. Hey, I came right in time for you to leave. Sorry, Derigative. That was a really interesting ending. Like, the game, I felt like their writing, their writing just kind of went, like, all over the place, and they only really wrapped up, like, one of the threads. <laughs> but this was the first game, when I did some research, this was the first game that they've done that wasn't a mobile game, so maybe they're still trying to learn, I don't know, learn how to program. Like, at the very last, the second to last portion of the game, I had to deal with invisible monsters that kept killing me. Which is really frustrating, because like none of gamer sense can't protect you against invisible monsters. It's just memorization and learning. So we're gonna go raid Vazer222. He's a game dev. I think he's doing golf with your friends. Yeah, he's a local person. Um, I'll be back Tuesday. I don't know what I'm gonna play. Um Weird sound, I wonder if it was a cat coughing. Or Crosby with his coughs. Um, maybe I'll play Bloodstained, because that's one I really wanted to play. So, let's go do this raid. No, actually, I'll be back Monday with Minecraft. If, uh, I don't know what the name of the pack is that we're playing, or the Capture the Wool map that we're playing. But anyways, thanks everybody for hanging out. Hope you all have a good one, and remember that you matter, and we want you here.